Hi Aries, this is your special edition love scope for February 2017. What is different about this is the energy I am reading for you guys has only to do with your soulmate connection and to me it's that one person that you are extremely drawn into there's nobody else like them you guys have a very special connection and <clears throat> this the this reading is to look at you know where is that in your life <clears throat> right now what are the energies of that soulmate connection how is that playing out right now or is it something that's going to be coming in I just, I really want to um, make it clear that this isn't about, you know, some fling or somebody you're hoping to be with. This is a very special energy and it belongs to a very specific person. And I'm also looking at the past life energies that you guys have shared together and how that's playing out into this um, lifetime between you two and you guys are actually the first ones to get this type of reading um, what it's expressing here actually out of all the readings I've done so far I will be um, doing the normal love scopes for you know January 1st or January February 1st through February 15th but I'm doing these because Valentine's Day is in the month of February and therefore the month of February is all about love at least for me so this um, special reading is in honor of love and you know looking kind of deeper into your soulmate connected energy it's um, this just this reading isn't going to apply to just any person it's you're going to know who this is it's somebody that you just have a connection to that you don't share that kind of connection with anybody else it's just a very unique thing even if it's not very full grown or even explored yet it's something that's just different it stands out from the rest okay and this could be somebody from your past this could be somebody that you're currently involved with or this could be somebody that's coming in since this is a general reading it just really depends on where you're at personally so with the past life cards that I drew we have baby and knighthood so what I get from this is you and this person are kind of brand new to each other as far as interacting closely like super interpersonal and close in a physical incarnation in your past life that you guys shared together I'm not really sure that you guys even shared a romantic connection with the knighthood card there I feel as though this was more of somebody who was your friend and I know like it's weird to think of like spirit not having a gender or a sex or a role but your soul isn't you know a male or female it's not a mom it's not a dad it's not a sister it's not a brother it's energy so when we have you know past lives with certain beings you know we show up in different forms and play different roles in each other's lives and some of those roles are in you know a family structure like a mom a dad siblings sometimes that's just you know through a friendship sometimes it is romantic but for you guys, I feel like the uh, your soulmate, the one that you know you are going to 
be with this lifetime, that one love is brand new. It's in your uh, past incarnation, as I said, it's as though you guys shared like a friendship or you were brothers or you served in war together, things like that. You were not romantically involved with each other, but that past life kind of set the foundation to move forward into this life to now experience each other in um, a romantic situation because in the past we have unrequited love and I just feel like uh, looking at the past life energies and reading these cards it's as though you guys were not romantic partners in your past life okay you really weren't and <coughs> excuse me that baby card is um, exactly depicting that message and then um, the vintage oracle the first card out which are the energies from the past life that are playing out in this is patience and it's a child so you guys are brand new you guys have lifetimes yet ahead of you um, because I'm not just speaking in the t like the term of you're brand new to being romantic partners I mean you are brand new to experiencing each other in physical form on earth okay I'm not in, in the non-physical yes you know each other we all know each other but to actually interact up close and personal that's just something that has barely begun like a lifetime or two ago it's it's not um it's the beginning it's brand new and what's really beautiful is you have this knighthood card and then you also have the protection card this is the energy that's coming through from the past life into this and what this tells me is the bond that you two created in your past incarnation the energy of that comes forth into this life and you both will have a sense of feeling protective of the other person and more than that I feel as though there's already an energy exchange between you even if you have not physically met this person in this lifetime yet you guys are already connected energetically it's already like there like it's you know a scene that's already written but the actual artwork has not been created yet okay it's so but the energy's already there and it's protective in the sense of you will never be too damaged by the time this person shows up or by the time you and this person reconcile you will never be too damaged and neither will they because there's just this exchange of energy that's happening beyond a conscious level and it nurtures you and it nurtures them and it 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 protects it protects you in the sense of like I said no matter what type of relationships or people you in, encounter or experience it's it's not going to damage you to where when this person shows up or you and this person finally align that you just you have nothing to give it's not even going to be like that there's like this protective cocoon around the two of you energetically where it doesn't matter what plays out in your life or what plays out in their life before you guys come together it's like when you guys come together none of that stuff even matters anymore it's like the two of you coming together is a mass healing in both of you because there's this protective barrier that is already around you guys okay so 
And then we have perception that sits in the future. And, you know, with this person, it looks like they're, you know, kind of performing and here's some masks. So to me, this is saying that you and this person, you have many more lifetimes to experience each other. And you, your energies are newer to each other. This isn't like a seasoned duo. But it doesn't mean it's any less extraordinary. And what I'm getting is, I feel like for a lot of you, either <clears throat> this person is somebody that you have noticed or you know maybe you've tried to put yourself out there like you just feel really drawn to them but maybe they haven't reciprocated or this is somebody from your past or this is somebody you just have not met yet and it truly is a different scenario for each one of you but you guys are the only ones I drew a whispers of love card for I just felt really drawn to and what you got is act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So if you are not with this person currently, and you know, if you guys, if you are, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, conflict. Um, I feel for many of you, it, it's like, you you and this person are together and then you break up and then you come back together whether this is all already happened or this is how it's all going to play out um i just feel like there is initially it's like okay even though you feel this really strong connection with them and you feel really drawn into them it's like that exists, you feel the energy of that, but it's like your uh, the way you guys communicate with each other or interact with each other isn't up on that same level as the energy that seems to bring you guys together and just pull you into that person. It's like it's out of balance, the energy you feel about the person being pulled into them opposed to what's kind of physically manifesting as far as your experiences with them. It's like, you, like I said, you guys are newer to each other. So it's not, even though there's that familiar, familiarity, the familiarity and the sense of loyalty and wanting to protect, it's still... I just, it, it wasn't, it, it's not been like on fire from day one. And if it has been, that's, this isn't, I'm not talking about that person. In fact, most things like that don't tend to last. Um, this is like, it's been like a slow moving process. Like I said, you guys may have come together in the past, but I felt like, <clears throat> With unrequited love and then patience, it's like something was kind of in the way of it or you guys just weren't quite aligned. You know, maybe you were more into them than they were into you or they were more into you than you were into them. It's just like, you know, that energy that pulled you together, it's very strong, but it, it's like when you're there face to face, physically, it's something's just not quite right, okay? This is like more in the past position and then with this protection we have these romantic feelings so this is like a change a shift in that energy it's like the light switch goes on in the head and you're like that familiarity from the past life kind of ignites and awakens your emotional body in a way that perhaps you haven't felt for this person before or they haven't felt for you prior but it's like just this 
switch is turned on and then you connect and remember this is like this is a general reading so I can't say for all of you but this for many of you this is brand new you guys are on page like 45 in chapter 2 it's so brand new and you weren't lovers before so the way that it's like you fit but there's awkwardness it's because yes that you are soulmate you have that connection you're meant to love and to be and to grow together but this is your first time around being romantic lovers and so that is you know a different energy than what you shared with this person in your past incarnation with them it's a completely different energy by the end of this life you guys will be in flow with this and I see that because I have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so I feel like you're gonna you and this person you're not regardless of what plays out this lifetime you guys have the next and many more to come because you are just in the beginning of your book together chapter two and so <clears throat> the romantic bond that's created this lifetime is going to carry into the next lifetime and when you come together then it's not going to there's not going to be any of that awkwardness that I really feel for you but I don't know what to do with you like you know it's for some of you it's maybe you're just extremely attracted physically to somebody that maybe you normally wouldn't even be physically attracted to it's like there's just something that isn't I don't know you know most people have this ideal picture of what they think their soulmate should be or ideal partner should look like and for many of you watching this I just I feel like it's the person that's for you it doesn't look like you expect because you guys are brand new and everybody always wants to have be like oh we've been lovers for all these lifetimes and da da da, da our love is eternal but I want to ask you this what's the best part of life I'm not saying the most when you have the most wisdom or anything but what is the funnest part of life the beginning of it, the first, like, what, 20-something years? I know some people have had bad childhoods, but I'm just saying, you are such a free spirit. It's so fun. You're learning. You're discovering. You're exploring. Everything is a new experience. It's exciting. But by the time you're, like, 70 or 80, most of what you are doing in those first 25 years of your life is not even a part of your reality anymore. And it's not the funnest part of life. It's, you know, the actually the more challenging part of life because here you are this very wise and seasoned being, but you exist in a body that's failing you or a mind that's failing you. And you're literally falling apart physically, you know, because your, your time in this particular life is, is coming to an end. But even though, so here when you're, you know, the first part of life, it's all fun and it's exciting and everything is magical because it's the first time. And then by the end of life, it's not so fun anymore, but you are so wise and experienced and grown. It's completely different energy. So when it comes to, you know, love and partnering up with a new soul to have a dance for who knows how many lifetimes to come you're in that exciting fun part you're in that where it's all a brand new experience stage it's magical you know it, it's carefree 
and don't wish that you're at the end when you're f falling apart but you're wise it's you know it no you guys are brand new and you have a lot of lifetimes of fun ahead not hard times fun so embrace that and you know that like you decided this before you even came into this existence and you and that person are going to really flow with each other and just like I said there's going to be that awkwardness but there's you're going to get past that or if you're in that now you are going to get past that and you're just going to flow and the or the oracle cards here I got conf or chaos and conflict and this is where I come back into saying that some of you may be separated or broken up from this person because you know the energy is so new to both of you it's hard to integrate that in with each other you know and then also manifesting everything into a physical being so if you guys if you know the person that I'm speaking of in your life it's that one person you know who they are if you are separated because of this chaos and conflict or you know awkwardness or just not being able to really align but you still feel strongly about them the next card is message in a bottle so I feel like that's why I said it's like you all have either already been with this person and you broke up and you're gonna come back together at some point or you met this person a while back were together broke up and now you're back together and you know that's where you're at right now or this is somebody I just feel like for all of you this is like really somebody you already know for some reason this is a general reading so of course it could be somebody brand new but like that you haven't personally met in this lifetime yet <clears throat> but I just I feel like you all know this person in some way whether it's just from afar or whatever and for those of you who are trying to align with this particular person and they're not with you currently spirit wanted to tell you act as if they're already with you because you guys are like I don't like to say meant to be or destined but you guys signed up to have to share a dance romantically this lifetime that's what you both wanted you wanted to experience each other's energy and physical form in a romantic way this lifetime and that you know brotherhood loyalty deep connection friendship bond from your previous incarnation is what actually allows this romantic union to become as solid as it will be so you need to act like that person is already with you and allow yourself to feel them and just be you know completely open to your soul connection coming into your life because I see it I mean even though this is for February like I said I'm doing this particular kind of love scope in honor of Valentine's Day at the month of love so this isn't particularly for the energies of February this is energies that could have been playing out for a couple years they could be going on right now this could be going on all of 2017 this energy is your soulmate okay and where you guys have been where you're coming into and where your energy is projecting you guys into the future and like I said I just I feel like this is brand new and you guys have many more lifetimes to come and 
I don't know. And it's like, again, for some of you, you're not seeing that person in the light of romance, but something is going to change or they weren't seeing you in that way. Like something just hasn't quite aligned, but that's okay. <clears throat> I've also drawn some vision of Oracle cards for you guys. What I want is for you to um, really go with the card that you resonate the most with. So card one, two, or three, you know, ask Spirit to tell you which number is for you. Because, you know, since this is a general reading, I want to kind of give you personal advice about your situation and your soulmate and the energy that it's existing between you two at this time and by the oracle cards that I drew all three of them are very different um, the last few readings it's like they were all kind of similar but these are um, all different actually they don't really speak to each other at all I just know that um, a, well card one, card two, or card three, so, you know, think about that. I, one of these is definitely uh, a depiction of this being brand new. Another one of these is, you know, all about deep romantic feelings and desire and passion. And another is about support and healing. So, I'm just going to read you the little quote that accompanies the card because there's really no title or description for the card and then allow you to view the imagery of the card because that is where the message is really supposed to come from the creator of these cards would rather um, well wanted the imagery to give the message more than his personal interpretation of his creation so I'm just looking here yeah I I feel like for a lot of you who, you know, are broken up with this person and, you know, if you're like 21 or 22, this may not really be speaking to you. If, if this is, it's like you and this person get back together later in life, like more towards the 30s because so much happens in life between 20 and 30 and we're such different people. And so if you are quite young, I, it, I definitely feel like you could have dated this person or maybe just recently broke up with them. But there is, you know, time, a lot of time that needs to transpire between, you know, this breakup and when you guys can truly come back together and align in the right way where it, it just, it feels good. You know, divine timing is everything. So... I don't know why, I just feel like you all kind of already know this person somehow, some way. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of you are very young watching this video. More than the um, other ones, like there's a... a, a greater emphasis on like a younger audience and I mean like you know early 20s ish and you know I definitely feel like you and this person can come back together but it, you need it needs time you know, it needs a lot of time, like there's a lot that has to happen in both of your lives in order for you guys to perfectly align in the way that you truly desire. And, you know, if you are with this person, I kind of, if you're currently with this person, I feel like, again, you guys were separated at some point and now it's like you're solid and you're going to be solid moving forward. Maybe they reached out to you. And with this message in a bottle here, I really think that um, for
for those of you where there is going to be a reconciliation and you know maybe you're more in your 30s or 40s or beyond I really feel like 2017 you're going to hear from them like there's going to be communication or you're going to like reach out to them for some reason like I just feel like there is going to be communication between you guys and if this is somebody that you're just going to meet like in this life I feel like that's like I said a smaller um, a smaller amount of you that message in a bottle is like it's going to you're going to meet this person this year and because I feel this strong emphasis of coming together and then breaking up and then reconciling later on that very well could be the case for you guys you could meet them this year date for a year or two uh, or you know maybe even just six months and then you break up for a while and you get back together it's just with this uh, these soul connections that are coming in for this reading for Aries it's very strong like we were together we broke up and now we're gonna reconcile and again I feel like it's kinda of like that because being lovers is a new thing to you guys this life it's not an energy that you have explored with each other you know so I'm just trying to see if I get anything else yeah I, I just this I feel like this year there's you know if you're not already with this person it's like you're gonna reconcile or you're gonna meet this person for the first time in this life and if you haven't met them and you're like thinking about different people and you're like well maybe it could be this person or that person if it's not somebody who you just you feel this really just deep connection to them where it's like even though you guys maybe don't talk or you don't see each other it's like sometimes you almost feel what they're feeling or you you've received their thoughts or it feels like they're right there in the room with you like there's just this really unique connection that you feel with that person over all others and if you if you haven't experienced that yet with anybody then know that that is coming in this year and when that happens you will know hey that's past life person that you know I've intimately interacted with like I've shared some sort of deeper relationship with this person in a previous existence so so I do definitely see soulmate um, connections coming together for Aries and for some of you this is like I said with somebody that you just you weren't really interested in them it's like you just your conscious mind had no awareness or recollection of who what energy was occupying that person that you're just kind of overlooking or vice versa you know somebody could have been kind of overlooking you but it's just like when that when the time is right it's like the switch just flips on and you can't stop it's like you've been cast under a spell it's because that's your sign that's your cue from the universe that it's time to come together so you know just let things happen as they will and if you really miss somebody there's a good chance that that person and you are going to reconnect at some point but in the meantime really try to put it out to the universe what it is that you need to work on within yourself to create the space you know for that that soulmate connection to come in and act as if they're already with you I don't know why but this is a really important message for you guys is yeah because and then with this like perception it's I feel like you guys are kinda reaching for somebody who isn't really the right person or you might even be with somebody who is not the right person. 
and it's like you've got to change your perception and when you really think about how would it feel with my soulmate connection what would we talk about how would we spend our days what would we do with our free time like when you really get into the details of that it makes you kind of see if you're already in something how much that something doesn't align to what your soul is wanting so your perception about somebody for some of you needs to change because they're way more than you can than you are aware of that they're going to be for you in your life and you just need to feel in your heart and your soul like your soulmate is already with you so let's get on um, to the oracle cards so if you were filling card uh, number one this is the card you got which is card 13 and remember the imagery is what is supposed to speak to you so I'm going to tighten in on that and what I'm going to do is just read you the quote about the card Productivity, control, organization. Take your needle, my child, and work at your and work at your pattern. It will come out a rose by and by. Life is like that, one stitch at a time, taken patiently, and the pattern will come out right, like the embroidery. So how beautiful is that when here I'm telling you how you and this person are brand new if you're drawn to that card like and then you have patience here too and so this card is talking about how you know you're creating a pattern you're weaving a pattern and you've just begun and do it you know it's it's the pattern will come out perfect you just have to have patience I, I love the reiteration of that the newness of this uh, soul connection that you have. So, um, card number two is actually card 27, and here is an up close view of that card Attraction, Magnetism, Infatuation. For every man there exists a bait which he cannot resist swallowing. Goodness gracious, do I need to say more. Romantic feelings, that's a beautiful synchronicity right there. So, for those of you who are really attracted to this card, I just feel like this person who is ever drawing you in like this, you and that person, it's this person. You guys have something to explore with each other. You have romance to be had this lifetime, okay? So, and I just feel like that's like happening right now or just on the horizon if that's the card that you are most drawn to or, you know, if you were feeling card two. So, um... Here is the last card. It is um, card 47. Now let's let you get a little look at it there. Healing, caring friendships. The power of love to change bodies is legendary. Built into folklore, common sense, and everyday experience. Love moves the flesh. It pushes matter around. Oh my gosh, Aries. If that is not a confirmation of you were this lifetime, you're meant to be lovers. You were not lovers before. Love is the energy that pushes matter around and healing and friendship. Like you were friends before. You may just be a friend with this person right now because, like I said, we have unrequited love here. So but it's going to turn into something. You just got to let it be what it what it be. And if you're really drawn to this card, it's yes, for sure, a thousand percent for you. This is brand new. This is going to be the first physical incarnation where you 
and this other person are having an experience of romance in physical form. Like, the first time is always the best, right? So know that and embrace that and love it because I think it's fabulous. So that's uh, what I have for you, Aries, in regards to your soulmate connection for, you know, this year. I will be putting the normal uh, love scopes out February 1st through February 15th. But this was just something special in um, celebration of love. So I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And I hope you have a very beautiful and romantic February.